everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming the crazy about lipstick tag. i seen a few girls do this and I thought it would be super interesting to do because I've been going through the biggest lipstick phase lately and I just thought that I would share it with you guys. So the first question is how many lipsticks do you have in your collection? And I would say that I have around maybe 25 to 35 lipsticks which is quite a lot I know. I don't think that I could use that much in my lifetime but I love playing with new colours, new formulas, new textures, just all that jazz. It's just so much fun for me so that's how I can justify having so many. The second question is how old was I when I first started wearing lipstick? About three months ago so I would say around 18, 19. The third question is what lipsticks I can't leave the house without? And my answer is a little bit different from everyone else's, but it is just whatever I'm wearing on my lips that day. I tend not to collect a lot of lip products into my bag, although I am slightly bad at taking them out once they're in. But generally, the only one that I need is the one that I've left the house wearing. So the next question in the tag is show a lipstick that you used to, show, to stand out. And I can show you two. The first one being the Velour Lips by Australis in the shade Malibu. It is a super, super bright pink and I absolutely love it. The second one I have here to show you is Poison Berry by Lime Crime. It looks quite scary in the tube and it is quite scary on the lips. But it's basically just a dark, dark purple. But it is so beautiful and every time I wear it I always get compliments and people just look. It's kind of funny. But I enjoy it none the least. So question number five is what was the last lipstick that I bought and it is this one that I bought today. It's from MAC and it's in the shade Lickable and it is a cream sheen. It's this colour. I'm really really bad at describing colours so I will do a close up so it is more accurate for you to see. Question number six is what lipstick did you regret buying and I have two. One of them is purely based on formula and the other one is based on finish. The one that's based on formula is the Face of Australia Lip Quench SPF 30 Plus Moisturising Lipstick. And I have it in the shade Nude Satin. Like, the smell. Like, the smell brings back memories, but it still makes me feel like I'm going to vomit. Like, I'm being melodramatic when I say vomit, by the way. It also tastes really bad, and it doesn't even last a long time. So, that's one that I regret buying. And the other lipstick that I regret buying is Revlon Color Stay Lipstick in Tender Pink 250. And I don't actually remember why I bought this, but I did use quite a lot of it. So, yeah. This one smells good, as opposed to the other one. But it's just so, so, so frosty. And, yeah. So, thank... I regret buying it because I can't use it, but I'm also thankful that I bought it because now I know that I hate frost finishes, at least on my lips. It just emphasises the lines in my lips and I don't like it at all. Question number seven is, what is my favourite lipstick of the moment? And I actually have three. Is that kind of bad? The first one is Baybet from Lime Crime. It's a pinky nude. That was a truck passing my house. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah. Pinky Nude, absolutely love it, so beautiful, so opaque, so creamy. Um, all of these are cream finishes by the way, because as I stated in my last question, I'm not a fan of frost finishes. And I don't know, I've just never gravitated towards stuck ones with shimmer in them. The next one is a Maybelline Colour Whisper, and it is in the shade Mad for Magenta, and it is a pretty, pretty purple colour. And it's super wearable once it's on the lips. It looks kind of scary in the tube because it's like purple. But I really, really enjoy it. And it's definitely been one of my current favourites. And then lucky last is NYX Black Label Lipstick in Poem. I really, really like this. I When I look at it, it reminds me of Pink Nouveau. But it comes up better on my lips. And it looks nicer. So that's why I like this. The next question being, what is my most expensive and inexpensive lipstick? So, I would say MAC lipsticks would have to be my most expensive. I do own a few of them, and these retail for about $36, I do believe, or something around that. And the one that I'm holding in particular is actually Pink Nouveau, which is a satin. And for my most inexpensive lipstick, I would have to say it's the Milani Colour Statement lipsticks, the one in the gold tube. I literally have so many of these. As you can see, just a few of my favourites are Rosehip, 
high voltage and fruit punch and I absolutely love these I love all the colors that I've tried they are so amazing they're so beautiful they're so creamy they smell like fake watermelon I don't know what I want more these are about five bucks but I bought a few of these when they when they were 40% off online so yeah I would definitely say they're, they're my most inexpensive lipstick the next question is can I show a lipstick that I love and I sure definitely can I have two that I can think of off the top of my head that I haven't already mentioned previously in other questions but two would be Candy Yum Yum by MAC which looks like this and also Airborne Unicorn which from Lion Crime which is just the most amazing purple colour and I've been obsessed with wearing this lately. Question number 10 is do I like, love or addicted to lipstick? And I do go through phases with makeup, so for example, sometimes I'll be obsessed with one thing, then I'll be obsessed with another, but at this point in time, I'm definitely addicted to lipstick. It is so fun, you can change up a look or change up your whole face with just changing your lip colour. It's amazing, and I just love it. So yes, I'd say I'm definitely addicted. Okay, so the final question of this tag is show a lipstick that reminds you of someone special. And I don't really own any lipsticks that reminds me of anyone special in particular, but I do have the first lipstick that I ever purchased, which was only about a year and a half, like two years ago, um, by Revlon. It's in the shade Temptress 680, and yeah, I wore this to my year 12 formal, and it just brings back some nice memories of that time. Okay guys, that's the end of the tag. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope I didn't bore you too much with it. And I hope you're having a very, very wonderful day and I will speak to you soon. Bye.